Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 104. I'm McRachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 550 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we get into some new shenanigans, you'll be alerted to it. Every time I look at you with that hat on, I think like you're like it's Thanksgiving. You, you've confused being at I'm Thanksgiving a green pilgrim. time with. Yeah, you that's what it is. Shrek the pilgrim. You're a leprechaun pilgrim. Like you really like St. Patrick's Day. I, and we don't even drink. So like I know I love St. Patrick's Day though because it's just fun. You know, I grew up I'm I'm partially Irish. Once you right. do that like genealogy or ancestry.com. But on St. Patrick's Day everybody's Irish. You're like I'm I'm sort of Irish. I'm a little bit Irish, a little less than I thought I was Irish, <laughs> but um but yeah, everybody's Irish on St. Patrick's Day. Right. I love it. I love the festivities, but what I don't like is the whole attitude of if things are going right, it's because you're lucky. Mm -hmm. It's not because you're lucky. It's because you're making good choices. That's right. That's what's happening. You're making good choices. If you've made good choices about breakfast and lunch and dinner and snacks and and exercises and, and relaxing and getting sleep this week, then good things happen. But you know what that means? What? That means that if you're not doing well, it's not because you're having bad luck. You might be making bad choices. Or your body's just kind of healing itself. Well, but it's it's got nothing to do with luck, right? Isn't that hopeful, though? Because if I did have a bad week, I'm not... It's not a bad luck thing. I didn't like smash a mirror and I've got seven years of this and I have to like live like this. Right. I can start making good choices and then have different results. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Let's talk about our week. Because yeah. our week was... A part. Busy. And apart, like we're never apart. If you haven't figured that out, we are never apart. No. And I had to go three days without Rachel. And did you miss me? I was pulling my hair out. That's why I'm bald Aww. now. Like I, I literally, I was, I was pulling out my chest hair. They say absence makes the heart grow fonder. Yeah, I don't like it when Rachel's gone. Like I don't sleep well. Like you roll over and there's like something missing. It was funny. I got a lot of work done though. Yeah, I mean, I went to a conference. Mm -hmm. You stayed home. Um, and I had to room with somebody. That's mm -hmm. always interesting, right? Like, right. so, I mean, especially. That's why you really want me to go, because then you don't have to room with anybody. <laughs> especially a work colleague. Right. Because you don't know this person very much, and then all of a sudden you're showering. Right. Right? Like, and you're, and you're having to, like, use the restroom, like, in very close proximity and get dressed. And My answer would be just, I'm not using the restroom. Like, I'm going somewhere else. I went down to the lobby, like, a couple <laughs> of times to pee. Because you we can't go number two. We've discussed this in the past. Like, and if I'm on a vacation, I can't go number two. So, right. like, I certainly am not going with somebody in the room. That you don't really know that well. Exactly. I'm so glad that I had the roommate I had because I got to know this, this beautiful, precious, young lady named Sylvia that's on her staff. She's in charge of first impressions. She's so hospitable. She's in charge of hospitality, but it's almost dangerous because I'm a talker right. and she never cuts anybody off. So like, I'm surprised we got any <laughs> sleep at all. Well, let's talk about the food because you were gone. I kept food very simple. Caleb and I actually got Buffalo Wild Wings and I ate Buffalo Wild Wings for like three days along uh -huh. with a whole bunch of eggs. Okay. And... But you had some experiences. Like, so we can just like, because you said they didn't have a lot of food that you could eat. It was crazy. So sometimes it's nice for Rachel to get a reality check about what everybody is going through every single day. Because mm -hmm. we have a lot of control of what and where we eat. Right. Because we're not, you know, I don't have to go into an office at a specific time. I don't have to eat at a specific time. But here we were at the conference, you know, lunch is at a cer certain time, they're serving breakfast at a certain time, they're serving dinner at a certain time, and you've got to like, your eating window has to be altered. Right. On top of that, I don't ever surround myself with any snacks from the past. 
And yet this beautiful, wonderful church that's hosting this is hosting it so lavishly that in every single direction and in every room, there's just piles of Carby snacks. Mm -hmm. In fact, and I think I got a picture of it to share. Look away if you're triggered easily. There was an entire wall of nothing but baskets of Carby snacks that I cannot have. Right. So I had to just walk past those. So I get it. If you had a challenge this week where you had to walk past stuff, I had to walk past stuff too. And, you know, we had salads and such that was presented. That was pretty much the best option for lunch for me. Mm. Breakfast, I just skipped. There was really nothing for me. It was like a box of carbs that they were passing out. I had black coffee and then lunch was a salad. Thankfully, they had the components of the salad on the side, so you can kind of put it together yourself because they had some fruit and things that I would not have added. So it was like lettuce and chicken. We just made it work. In the evenings, it was really nice. My team would go to restaurants, and I ate chicken wings a couple of times. You know, people were like asking me questions like, is this forever? Are you really doing this forever? So it was also yeah, we nice. Yeah, that a lot. Well, it was nice to get the questions that I think everybody gets. You get from friends and family, like, are you for real with this? And it was a good refresher course that, like, people have obstacles that I don't necessarily have to face every single day. And I'm right. like, yeah, this is a forever thing. Yeah. I'm in it. And I'm happy. I love our lifestyle. I mean, people ask me all the time, like, are you really going to just do this forever? Are you yeah. really never going to have bread again? Are you really never going to have pasta again? Are you really never going to have fruit again? Oh, yeah. Like, I actually, like, we literally pulled out the mango tree that I planted in front of my house because mangoes was my favorite fruit. And we pulled it out so that we could put the camper on the side because I'm like, I'm never eating a mango again. So like, if no I sense. had any intention of ever eating a mango again, I would have figured something else out because that's how much I liked mangoes. But... I've made this conscious decision that my health is more important than eating bread. And there's plenty of substitutes that I feel good about eating that make me feel better. You know what was funny was there was a bunch of people, you know, that went on the trip that have different eating plans, that mm. they're strict in a certain area. Some of them, it's like a gluten area right. still. Um, it's a health issue. It's not like a choice issue. Exactly. So, but on vacation, you you know, or at this conference, like I'm away from home. This isn't necessarily a vacation, but like it's a work away from home. And they're like, hey, I'm away from home. So I'm just going to like revert to some old eating habits and sort of like party out on foods. And they feel terrible. Mm -hmm. They all, they all came back. Like everybody that made that decision was like, I haven't slept. I feel bloated. I feel yucky. I feel gross. And I didn't really lose a step because I just stuck to what I was doing even when I was in a different like location. So I don't think that you're necessarily rewarding yourself by going off plan when you are out of your house. Yeah. Now, speaking of that, yeah. I'm rewarding yourself. So we've got some cool things happening. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and you hit the little bell button so you're notified when we have videos because we're going to be having in the next you know week or so, we're going to be having a couple of guests on. And these are really cool guests. Uh, one of them is going to be Bronson. Yeah, yeah. He's going to come on. We're going to talk a little bit about one-to-one -one and some of my training and things that are going on and some of the challenges that I've been encountering. But also, we're going to be doing a month long challenge with Bronson where he is going to pretty much train us. I'm ready right? for anybody who wants to. He's working on something with his website right now. I'm very similar to like the seven day restart that Keto Chow did in the beginning of the year. But for 30 days with our group, he has um, been pretty active lately in our Facebook group. So if you're in our Facebook group and you see the name Bronson Dance show up, go ahead and comment. He's putting up some cool posts in there. Really But neat. he loves the fact that so many people are starting to embrace more protein. Whether or not you're eating one-to-one, -one, the more important thing is, is that you're eating more protein. Exactly. Because pro especially if you're trying to lose weight, you need more protein. It sounds weird, but you need more protein. If you're trying to lose weight, you need more protein even if you're still eating a higher fat, but the protein will really help jumpstart you and it's gonna keep you full, it's gonna help your hair, it's gonna help your nails, it's gonna satiate you, everything about it. So that's going on and I'm really excited about this 30-day challenge 
with Bronson as a community. And we've done fast and we've done different things like that. So this is a cool one. It's gonna be kind of like a move it one, but also challenging us with one-to-one -one and weekly check-ins with him and having access to his app or something. You feel very special, mm -hmm. right? Because if you're like us, we never really um, put the money toward getting tr a trainer. Yeah. I always wanted to, right? right? Like I just thought that that was the coolest thing. People would tell me they had a personal trainer and they would go to the gym and they'd paid for a couple of sessions of personal training and it was so extra, right? right? Like it was just very special. And now we're going to get our own personal trainer for the group and, and it's free. Yeah. I mean, I had one for a little while before I started keto when I was doing CrossFit, but I had to have somebody personally working with me because of all my injuries. And when the CrossFit closed, like I missed it. And, but I, it was nice having that person kind of push you and that's what I'm enjoying working with Bronson about. Now I do want to mention something. We have a lot of comments and we have a lot of success stories. So Yay! I want to get into those, but some of, I know you've heard us talk a lot about negative things about ketones and exogenous ketones. And right. we've always said we're not against exogenous ketones. Just use it for the right reason. We don't ever want to see anybody using them because they're going to help them lose weight because they're not. They're going to give you energy and focus. Once in a while, we will take them. I know Chris and Miriam's daughter takes them. Mm -hmm. They're, you know, some people like use them just for that little boost of energy and thing. Yeah. Uh, Perfect Keto has a brand new flavor out today. So if you do like them, I'm actually enjoying this one. So um, they sent me one and then I actually ordered a second one. All right. Because I just did want a little bit of extra clarity and stuff. And, uh, this is a strawberry lemonade. It it's is tart. Like, it is tart, but it's like a sweet tart. It sweet is, tart. it screams summer. Yes, it does. And see, here's the thing, if you know much about ketones, generally ketones don't taste good because they are ketone salts. Yeah. So they're bound to electrolytes. So generally they don't taste good. And this one, you don't really get that salty taste. You get that tangy lemonade taste, but not that salty taste. It is tangy. Yeah. And I am still loving the strawberry collagen. So like, that's where I've kind of focused all of my energy on making sure I, I take that all the time because yeah. it's delicious. So there is a link for it down below, but don't feel like you need to get it. But for those of you who do like to get ketones, this is a brand new flavor. Before this, my favorite flavor was actually salted caramel. I like the salted yeah, caramel one. me too. The chocolate's good. Okay, so let's do this. Let's take a quick commercial break because like I said, we have a lot of success stories that I wanna go over. So we're gonna get through these really well. Okay. Top of the morning to ya. <laughs> what are you typing in the chat right now? I wish I had some corned beef right now. I want some corned beef right now. That's so what I'm typing. If you're new to our channel, every Monday we premiere Keto on the Couch. And what that means is if you're watching this at 10 a.m. when it premiered, we're live in the chat right now. Hello. So if you're seeing Two Crazy Ketos, that's Rachel typing right now. And if you're seeing Two Crazy Campers, that's me typing so that you know who is who. So chat with us. Now, again, once this episode is over, it goes back to normal. So a lot of people keep messaging us like, I don't get it. Are you guys like, <laughs> no, we are not live while you're watching it. We're live in the chat while you watch what we're recording a couple of days ahead of time. Right. Okay. So like I said, we have a lot of success stories. I couldn't pick just one subscriber of the week don't. this week. So instead there is no keto college adjunct professor of the week, but there are several success stories. Yay. But if you're new to our channel, this is where we like to celebrate you guys are subscribers because that's what Keto on the Couch is all about. It's all about you guys as subscribers. We ask you, go to our Facebook group, put your story in there, whether it's something, a success that you've had because you've been on Keto for a week or a month or a year or five years, but something that you're going through right now is something that somebody else is going through or has gone through and they need that support. And when you share the real story, they feel like they're not alone. That's right. Because you're not alone and you're doing great. So... The first one I have is actually from a longtime subscri subscriber, someone who I absolutely love. She's actually one of our moderators. And this is kind of like a success story slash inspiration keto college. Okay. Okay. And it is from Steph. Hey, Steph. Steph said, when you come across a picture of someone you don't know and you don't want it to actually face that, th that person was once you. Wow. Yes, there is joy in the fact, but it can be hard to swallow at times. Just so unreal that I let myself get in that shape. I almost put a picture up saying like, can you get this person? Because take a look at this picture. Oh my gosh. 
girl, I do not even recognize you by the first picture. Right. What a change. Steph, you are amazing. I mean, we know that you're amazing, but that is incredible because how far you have come. We have talked about Rachel's uncanny ability of being able to watch a movie and see somebody who maybe you haven't seen in 40 years on screen. And I would she not knows who it is. I almost able. put that picture up going, can no. you tell me who this person is? There's no is? way. Right? Because they don't resemble each other. No. You are amazing. You look amazing. Okay, so first subscriber of the week is actually Lynette. Hey, Lynette. And I will read this because it's really little and I'm wearing glasses. And I'm like, that's tiny. It says, a lot of times when I tell people that I eat a ketogenic diet, the response I get is, oh my goodness, I couldn't live without breads and sugars. I could never do that. Keto is too restrictive. <laughs> well, let me tell you what restrictive means to me. Restrictive is not being able to run and play with your kids. Restrictive is getting on the floor and not being able to get back up. Restrictive is not being able to go on rides at amusement parks. Yes. Restrictive is not fitting into a booth at a restaurant. Restrictive is not feeling comfortable in your own skin. Not being able to hike and be adventurous. Restrictive is having to miss your child's field trip because they are, there is too much walking. Restrictive is not being able to find cute clothes in your size and not going swimming for the fear that you will get laughed at. Yeah. Restrictive is missing your high school reunion in fear that you will be judged. Restrictive is getting winded just walking down the street. Restrictive is watching from the side of your entire family as your entire family skis. And it is so many more things. I spent far too long being restricted. My friends, <laughs> what does restrictive mean to you? Healthy feels so good and unrestrictive. No matter where you are in your journey, never give up on yourself. Have a great Saturday. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, Lynette. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. That is probably the best way I've ever heard it put. Because, yeah, everybody's only talking in terms of the food and not that you've been living your entire life restrictive. Once we were done with the conference, we went to Bush Gardens, mm -hmm. a place that I hadn't been since we had been heavy. Right. And I remembered not being able to go on those rides. I didn't have to go on the the one seat on the roller coaster that had the extra extension belt. That was the first time. I can remember there was a wooden roller coaster there that I was absolutely afraid of because you would get yourself into that seat and you're like, I am never getting out. Like right. I'm trapped here and it's gonna be very embarrassing when somebody has to like help pull me and like unwedge me. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, that was a restrictive life. Not now, right. not the fact that I'm eating hamburger and bacon. That's not restrictive. Right. Wow. I say it all the time. People say, you know, keto is too restrictive. I'm like, I, my personal opinion, and maybe I'm wrong. I think the keto lifestyle is the least restrictive eating plan there is. Yeah. Everything, I've tried everything. Rachel's been experimenting not with eating the plan, but with playing with the app for Weight Watchers. That is restrictive. Eating, you know, just, you know, Plant-based whole food, that's restrictive. Everything is restrictive, but I don't think that there's many things out there where there's alternatives so that you can still feel satisfied. I, she really hit me in the heart when it came to the high school reunion. Cause yeah, I was too heavy to feel comfortable at my high school reunion, so I didn't go. Yeah. Next one is from Jason. Hey Jason, he says, keto since May 5th, 2020, weighing in at 273 pounds. Previously in January, 2020 was 283 pounds. I started keto to help my wife, my Lisa, get going and thought the diet was stupid. I have ran on the more strict side of the fence, quit drinking and ended up going full carnivore for Danny Vega's carnivore keto cup program. I'm excited to be currently reversing out of the program and now searching for major maintenance macros, and building muscle. Wow, Jason. Oh my gracious. What a difference, dude. You look awesome. Isn't amazing? Way to go. Okay, next one is from Rose. Hey, Rose. Rose said, hello. I've just discovered two crazy ketos, but I am not new to keto. I'm 55 years old and keto has changed my life. 
I started keto in uh, October 2019, and in about 10 months, I lost 98 pounds. Wow. I'm five foot one. I started at 243 pounds, and now I'm 145 pounds. I've reversed my type 2 diabetes. I no longer have sleep apnea or high blood pressure. I struggled with depression and anxiety for years, and it was pretty much gone. Wow. Just like Rachel, I was so freaking happy most of the time. It's unreal. I was miserable for so many years. Anyway, I just wanted to say hi and let everyone know that keto can work for you too. Let's see Rose. Rose, gorgeous. Oh my gosh. You look like you're 20 years old now. Like, you, I mean, right? It's almost like not only does it reverse the, the problems, like the health problems, but it, it like adds the years back to your life. You get that too. It's not like you lost anything because right. all of a sudden you're younger looking. Right. That's incredible. Now let's get into the comments from last week's Keto on the Couch. And the first one is from Sherry. Hey Sherry, she says, Rachel, it's time to teach you how to pole dance. Yes. Pole dancing. You would love it and it's a great workout. Joe would have fun with it too. Oh yes, I would. Big hugs and congratulations on your growth. You totally are so cute. Love and light from California. Wow. I think that's a great idea. I am totally up for it. I think that my best chance of like dancing at all. You were a good dancer. My best chance is holding on to something. So you're a good if I can dancer. hold on to something like a pole, I have a feeling that maybe I may be able to like keep in step and not fall over. I have heard that that's like really good exercise. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, next one is from Anthony. Hey, Anthony. Anthony said, I was going to try your bacon recipe, but I see I would need a smoker. Oh, well. Oh. You don't need a smoke. No, you don't. So you can, first of all, there's you can do two things. You can actually make your own smoke box. You can make a cold smoker, like take an old box or even a cooler, drill a hole in it, and you get in these little, I'll put a link for one down below. It's a little pellet thing where you light the one end and it just kind of goes around and it leaves a smoke without having any heat. Also, you can actually make it in your oven. Yeah. So what you want to do is take your bacon. Once you've done all your curing for two weeks, you're going to put it onto a rack Put it into your oven, 200 degrees, about 60 to 90 minutes until you get to an internal temperature of 150 degrees. You just won't get that smoke flavor in the bacon, but you will have fresh bacon that you can yes. slice and and it'll be delicious. Last in your fridge for about two weeks, or you can do like freeze we it. do, where you, we freeze it up into like one and a half pound packages. You will not be sad you but did that. But you definitely don't need to have a smoker. You just want the smoker if you want to get that flavor. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Lou. Hey, Lou. I know Rachel loves coffee. Your shirt has Bones Coffee. What is your favorite coffee brand or flavor? I have been doing black coffee, and I'm trying to find a smooth, tasty coffee flavor. Okay, so we do like the Bones Coffee. Um, I think our favorite is probably Bananas Frost. Yes. And then I didn't expect the fudgy that. one, which was a holiday one. We really like the fudgy one. Right. But then we also, we're kind of not picky with Coffee Dome because no. we drink so much of it. But the new one that I found, I had gotten one day like the Dunkin' Donuts, this big orange container was like on sale at Costco. But I'm not willing to pay $17 for that. But I like the container. Yes. So I recently was at, I want to say, I think it was, I think it was Costco. And they had like a blue bag of... Um, like a donut brand, brand coffee. It was like mm -hmm. a donut blend. It's 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 really Dunkin' Donuts kind of coffee, but they call it the donut blend or right, something like that. Right, generic, their brand. And uh, I filled it up in there, and that's been really, really delicious. Very tasty. And, and it wasn't expensive. It was like $13 for 40 ounces. What's nice about that is it doesn't have a flavor that's like interacting if you, if you do put like a skinny syrup or something right. in it that you don't have to, you know, like they're not fighting against one another. Yeah, so we use that when we're going to have like a skinny syrup coffee because we usually drink one or two of those a day with a little bit of skinny syrup in it. But then if we're drinking a black coffee or maybe just a little bit of cream, that's where we go to the Bones, Bones coffees. Because it's flavored. And there's a link down below that can save you some money on your first Bones order. But um, that, but it's kind of silly to use the Bones, these expensive coffees that have a flavor and then yeah. put skinny syrups in them. Like right. It's kind of defeating the purpose. We're pretty cheap too, so we like to stretch that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, next one is from Shelly. Hey, Shelly. Shelly said, I love Key West. It is in my top really? five favorite cities. 
Been there four or five times on a cruise, and I want to go stay there for a week. Glad you finally tried raw oysters. It's my favorite way to eat them. They definitely have a funny mouthfeel. Like, <laughs> I mean, I kind of expected it because they look like they taste. Right. And I was just really happy that they didn't have some sort of, like, yucky seafood taste. They tasted very clean. Yeah. It, but raw oysters are all about what you put on them. Yeah. Because right? they're going to really hot sauce, a lime. little bit of lime. See, it's funny. Years ago, you always ate them with crackers, like oyster crackers. Oh, is that right? what they're from? Or you would put them with, like, saltines. But obviously, huh. we don't do that now. No. So now it's all about, like... I put a little bit of Tabasco sauce, a little bit of lime juice, some salt, salt. and they taste delicious. Yeah, they were good. But you got to get them where they're clean well. You don't want to get them with the sand and the grit and stuff in them. And you have to get past the texture. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Ann. Hey, Ann. She says, when we were in Florida and the Keys a year ago in February, seems like a million years ago, we actually ate at that restaurant. Oh, my gosh. Porkies. We enjoyed the Keys, and hopefully in the future, we can take our RV and camp in the Keys. Fun to see you mention a place that we could relate to. I really need to get my act together. The past year has not been kind to me. Time to regroup and start getting strict again. The scale is the devil. <laughs> yes, it is. That's so cool that we've been to the same place. Yeah. Well, I, I remember that. when they came down here. We didn't have an RV when they came down, right? No. So we were able to date and have some coffee and stuff. But, yes. And then they headed down to the Keys, but we, we didn't even think about it at the we time. We didn't even, I mean, COVID. Yeah. This whole year, 2020, right? Like, I mean, it's so funny when when someone saw me today and they were like, oh, like all of your, your hair is different. I don't even recognize you. And I was like, yeah, 2020. Like every, I mean, you're making all kinds of decisions. Like chickens in my backyard, 2020. Like you yeah. just, you just have to say like 2020. That's yeah. whatever this travel trailer, 2020. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. The so next one is from Clarky. Hey, Clarky. Clarky said, what kind of scale do you have giving you all of those percentages? So we actually have the in-body scale. Uh, it is a bit of an expensive scale. I'll leave a link for it down below. And I know Bronson also has a discount code. We got ours off of Amazon. Uh, but also, there are some other brands out there that are a little bit less expensive. Like we used to have the Widing scale, which gave you a lot of the similar data. It didn't, not quite as much, but enough data for you to be able to like really measure your fat and stuff like that and the only reason we stepped up to the in body is ours was broken every time you got on it it would tell you like one day it's like your stone Stones. pounds and then one day it was kilograms and like i just got annoyed with it something yeah. happened with the sensors and they got wet so we stepped to the in body but i'll we'll put some links for some of those ones down below i love it i love seeing more dimensions to that number mm -hmm. it just it really helps me just mentally don't look at the main number no because you get really frustrated uh next one is from lisa hey lisa she says thank you so much for the info on ketones i've tried them and really they don't do anything for me i don't get more energy or anything i know so many people who take them and a lot who say um they take them so that they can cheat <laughs> Uh, they're like, oh, it's okay. I'll drink my ketones tomorrow and be right back in ketosis. So many people think that they are just this elixir that will make you all better. And Rachel, I just love your hair. The day mine starts going gray, I'm going to do the same thing, I think. I am 50 and my hair has always been blonde, but as I've aged, my roots are starting to come in darker. I got tired of people asking if I always colored my hair, which has led to years of coloring and some crazy colors. I love people with crazy colored hair. <laughs> I've been every single color of the rainbow, including green. Um, okay, so once again with the ketones, they're not a magic elixir. If you eat a cookie, if you eat a candy bar, if you eat a piece of cake, it if still you eat happens. bread, it still happened, you're out of ketosis, and taking these is not putting you back into nutritional ketosis. Will you have ketones in your blood? Yes. And then 20 minutes later, you won't have ketones in your blood. Right. And you'll be right back where you started, only still dealing with those carbohydrates. Yeah. So if you want energy, if you want a little bit more mental focus, that's what they're good for, but they will not help you to lose more weight. We don't need to... Like, go any further than, that's all I have to, say, all I have to say about, about that. that. I wish you were here. Now, Laura said. Hey, Laura. Well, though, I will say, when you talk about exogenous ketones, they do curb my appetite, so I eat less, so I lose weight. That's how I look at it. Okay. And that's a good way to look at it. Like, if they're helping you to 
not eat, that's fine because again, they're giving you that little bit of energy. Maybe if they're if they're curbing your appetite, so long as everybody understands that they're not a magic thing that if I drink these, my body all of a sudden burns more fat. Yeah. That's what we don't ever want anybody to think that because it's not the case. And that's why we get frustrated with some of the companies that kind of promote that way to get you to buy their elixir. Well, here's the thing. It should be a prefix, not a suffix. Yes. Okay. So that's like, it, like is, that. it is before your day, not in response to your day. Perfect. I love that. Our next one is from Sheila. Hey, Sheila. She says, I cannot be the only one who has deleted their Facebook account, so I appreciate your YouTube presence. Thank you. Also, I've joined Discord, and it's awesome. Recommend anyone who wants um, accountability to join. Sheila, thank you so much for saying that. Thank you very much. Yeah, if you don't know, we do have a Discord, which is, if you don't know what Discord is, it's kind of like a live chat room. Like, think back to the AOL days. Yes. Right? And that's what it is. And there's always somebody in there and just kind of like they're sharing recipes, kind of gossiping, kind of just talking about like, hey, I'm struggling with this. What do you think of this? I'm going to try this food. And so if you need like that immediate response, it's a great place to go. And it's really free. Is. There's a link down below for that. Uh, next one is from Christopher. Hey, slap a stick. He said, I keep hearing people saying it's hard to keep the fat low and the protein high. I don't do that. I keep the fat up because I feel better. However, just fixing a couple of chicken dishes this past week made me have a couple of days where I let the protein go way higher than the fat. It's as easy as eating 110 grams of protein chicken breast. Your fat is so far behind at that point that it could be easy to keep the high protein up if that's what you want. Yeah, so, and again, what do we keep saying? We keep saying, you know, if you don't want to do one-to-one, -one, that's fine. The whole idea is it is closer to keto than most people think, but it's really an idea to make sure you're getting enough protein in, even if you want to increase the fat more, you can still be, like, eating you know, a higher protein and then have more fat because the protein calories don't count. Right. The real goal is getting a lot of protein and that's going to help you lose weight. Also, it's going to help your bones, your amino acids, building lean muscle, all of that stuff, like we said earlier. But it's not that hard to get more protein in. Eat some tuna fish, some salmon. Salmon is ridiculously high in protein. Some shrimp. Chicken breast. There are so many foods that are high in protein with almost no fat where you could eat that and then still be tacking butter into your coffee, putting stuff on your eggs or whatever you want. Well, my recommendation is let's say you've got your meal plan and you're like, I just want to eat a little something extra. Like I'm still hungry or, you know, like I'm just feeling like nauseous about something and, and you know you're going to eat something else. This is like you just know it's going to happen. And some days that happens, mm -hmm. right? reach for a protein, reach for a lean protein. And mm. you, trust me, you're going to be so much happier with yourself. Yeah. If you reach for the tuna fish packet or you reach for beef the jerky. chicken breast, you reach for the beef jerky, it's such a better option than reaching for something that's carby. And yeah, and it's going to fill you up. Hey, I love cheese, but you know what? Eating a cheese stick is not going to fill me up. No. Eating like three pieces of beef jerky, that's going to satisfy my like wanting to snack a little bit more and it's going to last me longer, right? It takes me a lot longer to eat three pieces of beef jerky than it does to eat one mozzarella stick. Well, and I mean, if you're eating, tr try eating a can of, of chicken breast. Yeah. Like that's, you're going to get full, which is what you're wanting in that moment. Yep. Our next one is from Debbie. Hey, Debbie. Debbie said, hi, this macros. It's confusing to me. How do you count it? How do you count your protein and your fats? How many calories and portions? I'm feeling overwhelmed. Okay, so we have a whole blog post on our website. I'm going to leave a link for it down below. It's very simple. Take your goal weight. Okay, we're not even going to talk about lean mass. Take your goal weight. You want to eat that many grams of protein. So, for example, your goal weight's 150 pounds. I like that number. It's a nice, easy number. Your goal weight's 150 pounds. You're going to eat, you're going to try to get 150 grams of protein in per day. Then you're going to try, then you can have up to, up to, don't go over, up to 150 grams of carbs and fat combined where your carbs should not be over like 20 to 40 total carbs. That's, it's that easy. We're not looking at calories at all. Why? Protein calories don't really matter. The fat and the carbs is your energy. Those are the calories that matter. And if you're doing it, you're going to be fine. 
If you really wanted to figure out your calories, you're gonna find that they're at a higher amount than you thought that you would be eating, but you will be losing weight. Even if you're not losing pounds on the scale, you're gonna find yourself thinning out. You're gonna find your clothes are fitting better. You just have to give it time to heal, but it's super simple. No calorie counting. You don't have to worry about that. We're going Dr. Berry method. Counting calories is stupid. Oh man. Okay, next one is from Marie. Hey Marie, she says, I will be the first to admit that I am weak and I have big struggle struggles. I attempted carnivore, but couldn't because of my acid reflux, even though I take meds for it. So I switched back to strict keto. Unfortunately, I gained some weight back um, from being carnivore for the short time I was on it. And now I'm struggling to get it off and I'm to the point of where I wanna throw in the towel and say, forget it. Well, don't, don't do that Marie, because it's not just about the food and losing weight. It's also about getting healthy. And we love to see you get rid of that acid reflux altogether. Yeah, that, I, I know what you're going through. I'm like, I'm super frustrated because I'm trying to heal my body because I was under eating and I was way under eating protein for so long. So my body is like in the process of healing right now and I'm not really putting weight on, but I'm not losing weight. And then I look at Rachel who's literally eating the same amount of food that I am and she's dropping weight and thinning out and it's frustrating, but understand that there's a good chance some of that weight, if you were eating carnivore, some of that weight is muscle. Like your body is healing, especially if you were losing a bunch of lean mass, your body is gonna naturally start building muscle if you're eating a lot of protein. You know, you're gonna build some muscle even if you're not doing heavy workouts, but if you start adding in any kind of strength or resistance training, you're gonna gain even more muscle. But that's okay because you're gonna be thinning out even if like the scale is going up. Yeah, it just takes time. Yeah. Okay, next one is from Tim. Hey Tim, he says, does anyone, else have high cholesterol issues on keto. I had my blood work done and my cholesterol was high with the LDL and triglycerides and um, too low with the HDL. Doc said I needed to eat more good fats, which I do with um, avocado oil and fish one to two times a week. Guess I need to eat more chicken and less beef. Okay, so Tim, let's let's say this right here. We are not doctors or no. nurses or any kind of health professionals. I'm wearing a leprechaun hat. And anything that we're stating here or at any time on our channel is based on what research we've done and experiments we've done on ourselves. With that being said, and again, make sure you're consulting with some physician, you know, if you're worried about things, maybe look at some other doctors, but I would do some research. Take a look at some of Dr. Barry's videos on cholesterol. He's talking about like high cholesterol is not bad, especially if you're really eating a ketogenic diet. If you're not eating a lot of carbohydrates, that it's more of what is your remnant cholesterol, your HDL and your LDL from your total cholesterol. Um, you wanna look at your LDLA and your LDLB. You wanna have low triglycerides. Check out Dave Feldman. He's mm -hmm. got lots of stuff. Yeah. And when you start researching, you may not be as worried about it as you are right now. Also, go check out, I'm gonna leave a link for right up here, uh, Aaron from High Fat High Fun, or 80 Keto as I like to call him. Forever. Um, he's actually got two videos. One, because he was on statins and he made the decision, he was getting off of statins and he didn't care what the doctor said. And then he just recently did an update video to show you what his cholesterol is. And you can look at his numbers and his cholesterol is high, but all of the other numbers are very low. Mm -hmm. And sometimes like you can't just look at those cholesterol numbers. Look at all of the other stuff going on. So maybe you have high cholesterol, but your diabetes is gone and you know, you're, you've got really low triglycerides. It's one number. I think too many times we focus on one number and it doesn't even have to be cholesterol. It could be, right. you're focusing on one number, but every other number is good. You know, exactly. like you can't just focus on that one thing. We have to look at our overall health, but check out uh, Dr. Cywis, check out Dr. Barry, Dr. And check Boz. out Dr. Boz, and then go take a look at all of Dave Feldman's stuff on cholesterol. Uh, next one is from Shell. Hey Shell, she says everyone needs a hug. It is fat free, sugar free, and requires no batteries. It also relieves pain and depression. So here's a hug from me to you. That was actually a meme, but I copied Thank it you. down and wrote it down. So that, I like, needed that hug. I figured you wanted that hug. I need a hug every single day. I love it. I'll take all the hugs I can get. 
Okay, next one is from Gabriella. Hey, Gabriella. She says, I'm trying to place an order for Keto Chow, but I can't get any coupons to work, including the Two Crazy Ketos affiliate code. Does anybody have a valid code? So there are no coupon codes for Keto Chow anymore. What they have is affiliate links. So down in the bottom of every one of our videos that we have now, as well as on our website, is the affiliate link for Keto Chow. If you click on that link, you will always get 10% off of your entire order. The only thing that's not going to apply to is if you're getting the Keto Chow Club box, the monthly yeah. box where they send you out either 30 or 60 meals. That's got a separate link, which I'm gonna leave down below, where you'll get 10% off of your very first box. But that's all you have to do. And basically what that does, that coupon link, makes everything that you buy is the flavor of the week, right? Yeah, it's a, I love it doesn't that. matter what the flavor of the week is because everything is 10% off when you click on that link. So that's all you ever have to do. It can be chocolate mint. Next one is from Michelle. Hey, Michelle. She says, do you, any of you have foods you could happily eat daily forever and never get sick of it? For me, it's any form of beef and raw cabbage. Cabbage took the place of my lifelong favorite Brussels sprouts when I had to lay off the oxalates. It's funny. I, I wouldn't think of cabbage being any different than Brussels sprouts. Yeah, but it is. It is. But so what about you? Mine, corned beef and cabbage. You could eat that all the time. Oh, yes. I could eat corned beef every single day. Corned beef. Yes. I could eat chicken wings and ground beef all I the time. I love chicken wings, but there are times where I'm like, I have chicken wings. And I'm like, yeah, I can use something else. Really? Like, yeah. I, I love chicken wings, but just sometimes like, but corned beef. Yes. I could eat corned beef every single day. Also ribeye. Next one is from Danielle. Hey, Danielle. Danielle said, I'm a little confused on the one-to-one. -one. I've been doing it, I think, but I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. Do we have to eat the fat and the carbs, or are they just limits? I'm doing good at getting to the protein, but I'm way under the fat and carbs. I'm losing weight again, finally, but I want to make sure I'm doing it completely right. Thanks in advance. Uh, so no, you do not have to eat all of the fat and the carbs. That is your limit. The protein is the goal. The fat and the carbs is the limit. Now, that doesn't mean don't eat any fat and carbs right. because then you could be messing with your metabolism a little bit. And also you do need to be eating some fat so that you can get all your vitamins and things like that. So we suggest somewhere like between 60 to 80 grams of fat. But if, you're, if your goal is 130 and you're only getting in 100, you're good. You're don't worry about it unless you don't have any fat on your body to lose. So we have one more and it's from Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. She says, good morning, friends. I've been on the keto low carb train for over two years and I'm a big fan of this way of eating. But the more I learn about autoimmune disorders and how all the chemicals, preservatives, and additives in processed foods affect the human body, my eyes have been opened to the healing properties of whole foods. Mm -hmm. I have read multiple times that you are either nourishing and healing your body with food or poisoning it. I wanna nourish and heal my body. I have friends who are not on board with the keto way of eating and I just wanna say, please just eat whole foods as much as you can and you will see a huge difference in how you feel. Absolutely. I mean, we talk about it all the time. Like when you go to the grocery store, you should be shopping the outer aisle. You should need a sweater. If you stay in the outer aisle, like you, where you're getting your meats and your vegetables and things like that, then you will be doing very well. And she actually had another post up in the Facebook group. It was like a little meme. And it was a person saying we should be counting, instead of counting calories, count chemicals. Like oh when you gosh, look at a label, yes. how about counting all the chemicals that are in those products that you're buying? And we do do product reviews. It's one of the reasons we do product reviews is because of the ingredient labels. And that's why we have our five things review where we go over the ingredients. And if there's a lot of nasty ingredients or things you can't pronounce, we don't recommend eating it. You know, it's nice that we can have on keto a couple of, you know, keto friendly products once in a while, like a bar or maybe something like a smart cake or something. But you look at the ingredients, you're like, okay, those aren't horrible for you. But a bulk, the bulk of your food should be coming from whole foods, your meats, your eggs, you know, either going to the grocery store, going to the butcher, or maybe even going out to your backyard. Here is a challenge for this week. Think to yourself right now, have a plan. How many things per day do you want to have a wrapper on it? Mm -hmm. So it's not a whole food. It's right. got a wrapper. How many things, decide right now, how many things per day do you want to have a wrapper on it? And then go into your week and see how many things that you eat actually have a wrapper on it and count those. Log the things that you eat that have a wrapper on it. And you may be surprised- I have a question. That we're eating less whole food than we realize. I have a question. Yes. Does your nut juice count? 
Nut juice? Yeah. Oh, I guess. If you're not making your own almond milk, Okay, you mean? so then for me, it's three. Okay. Three. That's, three things. That's my thing. So how many things you want it? That, what is your goal? How many things a day are you allowed to have a wrapper? So for me, it's three because I want my almond milk, or okay. Rachel calls nut juice. Nut juice. And then I want a little bit of skinny syrup. Okay. And then usually one other thing. Sometimes it's like, you know, a perfect keto bar. Sometimes it's keto chow. Sometimes it's flax crackers or like, you know, fat snack crackers or something like that. But like, so basically after my coffee, one thing. I think we're about to get surprised at how many snacks and prepackaged things that we eat. But that's my goal. My goal is one thing outside of the coffee a day. Really? I think that's a pretty good goal. I, that I, allows me a I'll snack. I'll try three. I, that, is, that allows me a snack. I'll try three. Want to try three? High th- try three? High, High three. three. High three. That reminds me, in case anybody's interested, they're already selling out. Chalk zero. That could be the one thing. There's a link down below. <laughs> they have bunnies, but they're selling out. They have them in all different kinds of flavors. For the Easter baskets. Yep. They also... But now that would be my one thing, so I'm not going to open it right now. Strawberry white chocolate. If so. you only have one extra thing, then you won't eat so many of them. That's true. So that is going to be this week's Keto on the Couch. Thank you so much for joining us. If you joined us during the premiere, we loved chatting with you guys. Make yes. sure you join us for next week's premiere at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Also, make sure you join us for our Thursday night live stream at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time right here on our channel. Now, if you do like seeing videos like this, we have 103 other wow. Keto on the Couches, which I'm gonna link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we get into some shenanigans, you'll be alerted to it. Until next week. Bye. bye.